you. I get that same energy when Jeff goes out of town. You need to let your monkey out for a run. <laughs> what? Time to go to the Tropicana with Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> you know what? You are so wrong. That is not it. I'm just feeling a little... pent up. <laughs> yeah, you flipped from Jack six months ago. Six months is a long time to go without any babaloo. It has not been six months. It's been eight months. <laughs> out of town to sing at a wedding this weekend and I have the whole house to myself. So, how about a Robbie Benson film festival? I got ice castles. <laughs> we can't. We're going to the same wedding. It's at this great little bed and breakfast in Rushville. Jeff's parents are going to watch the kids. They're a little cheaper than my parents. <laughs> You're all going? Yeah, it's Charlene, Sunny's ex-girlfriend. We're friends with her. She and Sunny dated for three years and now she's marrying somebody that she's only been dating for months. I can't wait. I always get lucky at weddings. And somewhere out there, there's a woman about to get tragically unlucky. What am I supposed to do all weekend by myself with my monkey all locked up and everything? <laughs> Don't even say it. Sonny, I heard about your ex in the wedding. I'm sorry. How are you holding up? Nothing to hold on my guy. <laughs> Don't even say it. So, Sonny, you gonna go to the wedding? Uh, it wouldn't be fair. I want to uh, intimidate the groom. A bug or dud, whatever his name is. Doug. <laughs> whatever. Okay. Just one moment, please. Sonny, I know what you're going through. I think you should go. You need closure. When I left Jack, all I did was leave him a note. I never had closure. I wish I could have seen him one more time. So I could have closed that door. Or at least signed the note. Girls need closure more than guys do. I really think that's why Charlene's getting married. I mean, I can understand if you're afraid. I'm afraid? It's not like I'm gonna cry or anything. Of course not. Poor guy. All right, I'll go. You will? If you go with me, it's your idea. You better, or I might cry. Charlene and Doug asked me to. It was playing when they first met. But it's a rehearsal dinner. Don't you think the lyrics are a little, you know, scuzzy? Oh, well, if there's a word that I don't feel is appropriate, I will hum. It's ham. Hi. Hi. You're excused. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm in bad shape. I just brushed up against a cute guy, and now I'm ready for a cigarette. <laughs> How's it going? Yes, Tom. Man, look at this place. Whoa! <laughs> Nothing like a wedding to bring out the desperation in a woman. And I'm like a magnet for desperation. Hey, guys. Buddy. Sunny! So, are you ready? 
Yeah, I'm just trying to think of something neutral to say to Charlene when I see her. I don't want to, uh, lead her on. No. The strategy is that you don't say anything. You let her come to you. That way you're putting out the vibe that you're cool. Oh, no, that's no, no, not no. the cool vibe. That's the petty vibe. What you want to do is be friendly. If you want to be cool, be warm. No, no. no. Forget about Never cool. Worked. Her family's paying for the wedding, right? Scarf down their shrimp and suck up their VSOP. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Or do what I would do, nail one of her bridesmaids. Honey, don't listen to them. You know why you're here. You're here to let go, okay? Now let's walk, let's talk, let's let go. Uh, you know, this letting go is really your thing. My thing is that you need to let go of the idea that I need to let go. Sunny, <laughs> I'm so glad you made it. Hello, Charlene. Doug, this is Sonny Mayfield. He used to be a race car driver, and then he crashed. Uh, Sonny, Doug is a partner in an accounting firm. And he mentors youth at risk on the weekend. <laughs> and he has his black belt in karate. <laughs> My four-year-old niece does karate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going on and on. It's just that I have never been so happy. Never, never, never. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is Maggie Winters, former Miss Nude World in my theater. Happy, happy, happy. What is the matter with you? I can't believe you told Charlene we were engaged. You know what's the matter with me. I haven't let go. I just couldn't stand for her to think that I'm some lonely loser. There, you happy? I'm miserable. No, I'm not happy. I'm Miss Nude World. <laughs> I just wanted you to move on. I wasn't counting on having you be a big, fat liar all weekend. Look, all I'm asking you to do is what you always do. Nod, smile, and look at me adoring you. <laughs> that's not it. Yeah, well, that's all you're getting. I hate lying. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> hey, Charlene. Listen, <laughs> Sonny was just kidding about that Miss Nude World thing. Oh, <laughs> I thought so. I'm actually Miss Nude Universe. <laughs> Said lying makes me uncomfortable. Didn't say I wasn't good at it. <laughs> Thanks for covering. I appreciate it. Oh my God, maybe it's true. It's not true. Maggie, uh, listen to me. You don't have to marry somebody just to let your monkey out. <laughs> We're not getting married. So have you picked a date? August 5th. There is no date. We're not getting married. Maggie, the rumors are flying. I heard you're marrying money. Not money, Sonny. Oh. And I'm not marrying him. Hey, Maggie, I heard the news. It's not true. Well, don't get defensive. Anyone would be a little pent up after eight months. Eight months? Hey, listen, Maggie, uh, I'd be happy to help you out with that. It hasn't been eight years, Tom. Okay, does everyone have to know about my monkey? You know, this is all your fault. Why? I've only known you for two months. Yeah, well, that's two months too long, Mr. Big... <laughs> oh, I... uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Redhead. Two o'clock. Hey, you with the red hair. Run! Hey, hey, she's just joking. Hey, hey, come here. Well, Maggie, being Sonny's fake fiance could be great for your condition. Sonny and me. Come on, no way. Why not? He's a great guy. You're a great girl. You'd be a great couple. It could be great. No, I just don't see Sonny like that. Excuse me, he kissed you and you nearly fainted. Well, at this point, I nearly faint when I put on chapstick. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Sonny just isn't my type. He's not even a possibility. Hello again. Hello. You having a good time? 
Right this minute? Mm -hmm. Why, yes. <laughs> How about you? I'm having a pretty good minute myself. I'm Maggie. Taylor. So, Taylor, you here for the wedding? Huh? Of course you're here for the wedding. We're all here for the wedding. <laughs> what I meant was, are you married? Not at all. How about you? Not even a little bit. Maggie, I see you've met Charlene's brother. Taylor, this is my fiance. Not now. I thought you said you were single. I am. Till August 5th. Well, listen, I'll, uh, I'll leave you two alone. Good luck, Sonny. Call me. What's wrong? Oh, this whole sunny lying thing is just ruining my entire weekend. Oh, it's going to ruin more than that, dear. Once everyone finds you're off the eligible list, you may never find a man. Well, then it's a good thing there isn't actually a list, isn't there? <laughs> Don't be so sure. These days, everything is posted on the wide world of web. <laughs> It just doesn't pay to lie. Mom, you lied to get this job. I did not. They asked me. Because you said you were a semifinalist on Star Search. Maggie, let me tell you a little something about the music business. They expect you to lie, dear. It's called jive talking. <laughs> I can't believe there's no television. I'll tell you a story. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Uh, Lisa and I are going to bed. Well, ordinarily I'd be okay with that, but you're supposed to be engaged to me. Our room's over here. No, oh, no, no, Come no, on. no. It's a small place. Everybody's gonna know. Well, then, tell them I'm saving myself. If people know me, they never believe that. What about my reputation? It could only help. Believe me, nothing's gonna happen. Tell that to my monkey. <laughs> what about my story? Okay, let's get this straight. I'm sleeping in the bed. Absolutely. Right side or left? Both sides, every side I'm sleeping in the whole little bed by myself. All right. Fine, I'll just sleep on uh, the uh, stick. under the sheets. Stay on your own side. with you. Come back later. I can't take it. He's in there and he's breathing and he, he's a man. What more do you need? I need to sleep with you. You know, Sonny is a good friend of mine and you got a real problem, lady. <laughs> You don't know the half of it, mister. <laughs>
trouble in paradise. Oh, no. We're still in Shangri-La. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so happy you and Sunny came. So I'm surprised you even showed up. Yeah, well, life is full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, he's a great guy. It's just that, you know, he's kind of always been full of himself. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. When I first met him, he was so arrogant. I did not like him. But then I got to know him, and I realized that his arrogance is really just a hard candy coating protecting his rich, creamy, chocolatey center. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to kill him, you know? But he's really very sweet. Yeah. Smart, handsome, sensitive, responsible. You can trust him with your life. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I got it. <laughs> the woman who gets him is really very lucky. And that would be me. It would. <laughs> Good night, Maggie. Good night. Well, good morning. You've had the bed. Now here's the Ann breakfast. Good morning, honey. Honey. Sunny. You said honey. I meant Sunny. Whatever you say, sweetheart. It was really sweet of you to sleep on the stick. Very sweet of you to go along with this for me. Appreciate it. Here. Oh. Let me help you with that. I guess it's really lame of me to lie like that. I don't know what I'm so afraid of. Oh, oh darn it. <laughs> you know, Sonny, you shouldn't let fear stop you. I mean, it's one thing to close doors, but you should leave a window open for other possibilities because you never know what can happen. Yeah, you're right, you never know. You never know what might be right there in front of you. I'm really glad I'm here. Me too. Hi. Okay, I know you're mad at me. Let me just explain. Lisa, I'm fine. I'm not mad. Everything happens for a reason. She's really not mad. Look, she's kind of even glowing. What happened to you? Nothing. I just decided to keep myself open to other possibilities. And I think Sunny might be one more of those possibilities. Taylor, Doug, Charlene. Oh, it was such a beautiful wedding. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Good luck to you, too. Thanks for coming, Sunny. I always wanted you at my wedding. Well, then I kiss the bride. Oh. Oh, well, be my guest. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> Hey. Honey. Hey. Hey. Honey. Hey. Honey. Hey. Honey. Hey. Honey. Hey. Dog, I think I might have made a mistake. Yeah. It, it just Maggie said some things to me last night that made me realize I'm not over Sunny. And uh, Maggie said some things to me this morning that made me realize I'm not over Charlene. Which one is Maggie again? That, that's not what I was saying. And this is certainly not what was supposed to happen. Sonny, I thought you said you wanted closure. You told me to keep the windows open. Other windows, not this window. This one should be closed, locked. Oh, Maggie, I am so sorry. This must be terrible for you. I... Hey, at least she found out before the wedding. You, I... <laughs> so you're sure you don't mind riding home with your mother? Oh, no. I never tire of her stories of her early days at Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I just want to say thank you. Oh. No problem. Hey, there's just one thing I don't get. If you weren't talking about me and Charlene when you said all those things, 
Who are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Go. Go. Like I said, everything happens for a reason. Now I don't know what to do. This changes everything. No, it doesn't. You should go with Charlene. Either you'll end up living happily ever after, or you'll finally get that closure you wanted. Thanks, Maggie. Hey, wasn't all that bad. Made me realize that even though my window was open, I still had the screen on. I'm sure you don't want the bugs to come in, but uh, you gotta be able to let that monkey out. Okay, then I'll just go. Yeah. Me too. <sighs> Need to go. Jazzercise. <laughs> mm. Don't go away. Maggie Winters will be right back. Let's love, baby. Doug. Doug. Stop crying and listen to me. Okay. Okay? Everything happens for a reason. Okay? Where one door closes, another window of opportunity opens. Not this window, Doug. <laughs> Showdown in the Gulf. American forces hit Iraq. What led to this latest showdown with Saddam? And how will the bombings affect the pending debate and vote on President Clinton's impeachment? CBS News has the latest developments on a special edition of 48 Hours, coming up in one minute.